Alrighty, everyone. We are going to go ahead and do our 20th game of Jeopardy Deluxe Edition for the SNES, assuming this thing decides to work, of course. There we go. And so far, in 19 games, we've won $1,050,817. So as is the case with Jeopardy for the SNES, Jeopardy Deluxe Edition is a $1 million run. Let's see if we can add on to that $1 million plus. $1,050,000. As this game, we have Rob and Liz facing me. Put the dollar figures in. We're going to play with these categories. Art. Medicine. Fiction. Okay. World history. Ice skating. And finally... The Earth. Okay. I can deal with these categories. I'm going to start things off with art for 500. The answer and the answer there is... This Baroque Flemish artist's name has come to and has become an adjective to describe his style. Uh, I'm going to try this one. And I'm going to say who is... Rene Magritte. It's not Rene Magritte, unfortunately, so we're not off to a good start. Robert Liz? It's Peter Paul Rubens. I had a choice and I picked the other one. Okay. The Earth for five? The answer is. Deposits of lime shells and protozoans are the main ingredient of this sedimentary sedimentary rock. Sedimentary rock. Rob. It's chalk. Chalk. Mm -hmm. Rob, you're on the board. You get $500. And where do you want to go? We're going to world history for 100 Yeah, Got to get back on track here. Here we go. FDR called December 7th, 1941, a date which will do this. What is live in infamy? Ooh. It will indeed live in infamy. Uh huh. Um, let's go fashion for five hundred. The answer is answer there. Most of the short stories of his book in our time feature Nick Adams as the central character. Who is Ernest Hemingway? So it's fiction for five hundred, not fashion. It's fiction. Either way, we're out of the hole. We have a hundred dollars. Okay. Let's take uh, ice skating for five hundred. The answer is. It's the academic term for compulsory figures. What are uh, school figures? There we go. Now we're in the lead. Uh, medicine for five hundred. The answer is. It's defined as a wound or shock caused by a sudden caused by a sudden physical injury. What is sudden physical injury? What is a fracture? No. Back down to one hundred dollars. We're not off to a good start this game. We gotta turn that around here and now. Oh, Liz doesn't know. Whatever! Pika Rupa! Rob's not gonna ring in? It's trauma! Trauma, okay. Let me have World History for 500. After teaching French at a Connecticut girls' school, he served as premier of France in World War I. I'm going to pass. I don't know it. Liz, do you know it? Georges Clemenceau. He's the one. So Liz is now out of the hole, and she gets to make the selection as we continue. Ice skating, 100. Alright, let's see if we can turn it around here. 
Alicia Starbuck is better known by this nickname. What is JoJo? I'll have art for 400. The answer is... Answer there. His painting career began in 1880 and ended 10 years later in Over. Uh, I'm going to try this one. I'm going to say who was... Uh, I'm going to say who was Paul Gauguin. No, it's the other one. Mm, back in the hole. Not off to a good start. Liz, it's your turn. Vincent Van Gogh, the other one. Uh. So now Liz has some cash. All right. Medicine, 100. The answer is... Symptoms of this severe headache are a sharp pain in your temple, blurry vision, and nausea. What is a migraine? I get my fair share of those from time to time. There we go. Okay, let's try our look with um, the Earth for 400. The answer is... This class of rocks is formed by the solidification of molten rock. What is igneous? There we go, and we have some money again, $300. Fiction for 400 The answer is... Answer there. The first chapter of this H.G. Wells novel is The Strange Man's Arrival. Uh, what is The Invisible Man? There we go. Let me have ice skating for 400 The answer is... Answer there. The Russian split isn't a dessert. It's the most dramatic of these. What is a high jump? Yeah. Uh, medicine for 400, please. The answer is... Too much alcohol or rich food doesn't cause this joint inflammation, but it may start attacks. What is arthritis? And fortunately for me, I do not drink alcohol. It's not arthritis? It's not arthritis, surprisingly enough. Ugh. It's gout. Gout. So now Liz takes the leech, she has $800 in cash. And where's she going? World history, 200. The answer is... Following his service in the American Revolution, Thaddeus Kosciuszko led a revolution here. What is France? It's not France. Ugh. I am off to a bad start this game, despite the fact that I have $500. Ugh. And to think that this game is a $1 million run. Oh, Poland! It was in Europe, but it was Poland. Not France. Anyways, let's keep going. Medicine for 200. The answer is... If you've had a myocardial infarction, you've had one of these. So eat right and exercise. What is a heart attack? That's something I hope I never have. There we go. We have world history for 400. The answer is... After these wars ended in 1485, the Royal Houses of York and Lancaster were united. What were the Wars of the Roses? It's gotta be. That's right. There we go. 1100. Art 300. The answer is... Answer there. For a fresco, before you apply the paint, you have to put this on the wall. Rob. You have to put plaster on the wall. For some reason, I was thinking plaster, but it was just not coming to me. All right. Rob, it's your turn. Where are we going? 
World History 300. The answer and the answer there is... 1988 was the 400th anniversary of the defeat of this famous fleet. What is the Spanish Armada? That's right. Let's have um, uh, the Earth for 300, please. The largest glacier on this island is Europe's largest glacier. What is Iceland? Got it. That only makes sense. It's Iceland, yeah. Fiction for 300, please. The answer is... And the answer there is... This dandified detective was once one of the most celebrated members of the Belgian police. Who is Hercule Poirot? Now we're starting to get somewhere. There we go. Could I have ice skating for 300, please? The answer is... Answer there. Ty's partner, he was forced to withdraw from the 1980 Olympics because of a groin injury. Ooh, I forget who. Who was it? His name is Randy Gardner. Randy Gardner. Liz is right, and she's now in second place. And she gets to make the next selection as we continue. Which is going to be medicine for 300. Daily double. And I know for a fact she's going to go for a true daily double. She'll take the lead if she gets this right. Here's the clue in medicine. Surgery is no longer common for this inflammation of lymphoid tissue in the throat. And it's tonsillitis. Liz takes the lead by $200. We have uh, seven clues left and she's going to art for 100 The answer is... Michelangelo spent three years, 1501, 1504, sculpting this Goliath-sized statue. What is David? Correct. Can we have art for 200, please? The answer is... By their styles, Monet is considered one of these, and Cezanne posts one. What is an impressionist? That's right. Good. The Earth 100. The answer is... A, pen a peneplain is a once hilly or mountainous area that has almost been leveled by this process. Rob doesn't know. Liz, she gets this right, she ties me. Erosion, she got it, so she and I are tied for the lead. Oh man. Ooh, I hope double jeopardy is easier. Ice skating, 200. The answer is. To stop ankle wobbling, this part of the skate should be slightly off center, not in the middle. What is the blade? Correct. Let's go back to the other category. Uh, the Earth for Chief. The answer is. Answer there. Nickname for the Circum Pacific Belt where three fourths of all the world's earthquakes occur. I'm going to say, what is the Ring of Fire? Correct. Fiction 100. The answer is. Swashbuckler, who continued his daring adventures in a sequel, The Elusive Pimpernel, who is the Scarlet Pimpernel? Wow, the Jeopardy round had some tough categories, had some tough clues. Let's look at that last clue, and then we'll go to Double Jeopardy. The answer is... And the answer there is... Troublemaker, whose half-brother Sid was a quiet boy and had no troublesome boys, who was Tom Sawyer. However, though, I will finish the Jeopardy round with $3,000 in cash. Liz has 2300 Rob 900 So Rob goes first in Double Jeopardy, which we'll start right now. 
kind of struggled a little bit at the beginning, but I bounced back and ended up with $3,000. Will Double Jeopardy go better? We'll find out. Here's the category. Here are the categories. Will the clues be on my side? Let's look at the categories. Austria. Inventors. In the dictionary. Starts with me. Notice M-E in quotation marks. First aid, and we'll close it out with disc jockeys. Okay. All right, we'll find out. Uh, Rob, you get to go first. Where are we going? We're going with in the dictionary for 200. The answer is... And the answer is... The word that precedes earth, goose, and superior. What is mother? Let's have Austria for a thousand. The answer is... In 1914, this Habsburg emperor declared war on Serbia, thus starting World War I. Oh, who was it? I forgot. Franz Joseph. Oh, right. Franz Joseph Habsburg. That's good for a thousand, Robin. You have 1900, and you make the next selection as we continue. Inventors, 200. Yeah, well, inventors and inventions, really, but here's the clue. Alexander Graham Bell's tries to make this listening device led to the invention of the phone. What is the hearing aid? Okay, that's good. Could I go with uh, disc jockeys for a thousand? Daily double. One of the two in the round. I have thirty-four hundred dollars. How much do I want to put at risk? Uh, I'm gonna go kind of small and do eleven hundred. All right. Even if I'm wrong, I'll be tied with Liz if I'm wrong. But if I'm right, I go to forty-five hundred. Here's the clue in disc jockeys. Good morning. In 1965, Adrian Cronauer was a morning drive time disc, disc jockey here. What is Vietnam? That's right! Disc Jockey's 8. Yes. Cleveland DJ Alan Freed popularized this music term, which had been known for years. What is rock and roll? Disc Jockey 6. Dr. Johnny Fever and Venus Flytrap are resident DJs in this CBS sitcom in Cincinnati. What is WKRP? Oh, this jockey's for 400. The answer is... Detroit DJ Russ Gibb and his fans discovered musical clues to this Beatles' death in 69. Uh, who is Paul McCartney? Uh, this jockey's for 200. The answer is... Answer there. In July of 1954, Memphis DJ Dewey Phillips became the first to air a record by this future superstar, who was Elvis Presley. I thought that this jockey's category was going to be a tough one, but no, the clues are actually pretty easy. And as a result, I'm going to be at $6,500. There we go. Time to switch categories. Let's have first aid 1,000. The answer is... Answer there. The R in CPR stands for this. What is resuscitation? That's good. Resuscitation. Uh, let's have uh, in, in the dictionary 1000. The answer is. The two months that are also listed as verbs in the dictionary, what are March and May? That's right. Uh, inventors and inventions for 1,000. The answer is. From 1854 until his death in 1867, he got royalties on every sewing machine sold in the U.S. Uh, I have it between two of them, but I'm going to say who is Singer. 
No, it's the other one. Oh well, I'm a, I'm a big lead right now, so I am not concerned. It's the other one. Elias Howe. Mm-hmm. How about first aid for 200? The answer is... Answer there. If you accidentally splash acid in your eye, you immediately flush it with this. What is cold water? You do indeed splash it with cold water, yeah? A thousand for, uh, starts with me. The answer is... Okay, answer there. And an extreme view band in a river or to wander aimlessly and idly without fixed direction. What is a uh, meander? That's right. Mm -hmm. Let me have uh, Austria for 600. Or I guess whatever that was for 600. Inventors and inventions. The book Small Invention says the Romans invented them and called them hippo sandals. What are horseshoes? Let me go back to Austria for 600. The answer is... Traditional Austrian costume of a blouse, a lace-up bodice, and a full skirt with apron. I'm gonna give this one to Liz, I don't know it. Oh, she doesn't know either. What? Too bad. Rob, do you know the answer? It's a dirndl. Dirndl. All right. Rob is up to $3,500 in cash, and he makes the next selection as we continue. First aid for 400 The answer is... Answer there. Leave a person who has fainted lying down, but raise these slightly. What are the feet? Good. I'll have a first aid for 600. The answer is. Term for a break in a bone, whether simple or compound. What's a fracture? Let me have um, in the dictionary for 600, please. The answer is. Male given name that's alphabetically first in Webster's third unabridged dictionary. I'm gonna say what is Aaron. Uh huh. Let me take a uh, start with me for 600. Saint Jerome was critical of those who used the end to justify these. What are the means? Look at all this cash I'm racking up. Eleven and a half thousand, and we're two. I'll take uh, Austria for eight hundred. These birds return annually to roost in their chimney nests in the city of Rust. Liz, she doesn't know. What? Too bad. White storks. Oh, okay. First aid, 800. The answer is... Applying an ice bag to a sprain in the first half hour may reduce the pain and retard this. What is swelling? Uh, let's have in the dictionary 800, please. You have a nearly double. And I have 12,300. How much will I put at risk? Um, I'm going to go kind of big here. 7,700. All right. For $20,000, if you are right on this clue and in the dictionary. Amusement park ride, ride listed between Tumblebug and Turban in the 1984 World Book Dictionary. What is...
Hmm. Music Park ride listed between Tumblebug and uh, Turban in the 1984 World Dictionary. Ooh. I don't know. It's not coming to me. Tunnel of Love. Ooh. Took a big hit there, but there's still time to build. Austria 200. <laughs> Mozart was born in this city, whose name means capital Castle of Salt. It took a big hit on the Daily Double. What is uh, Salzburg? But that doesn't mean I can't still win, because I can still win. Austria 400. The answer is... The Winter Olympics have been held in this scenic city twice, in 1964 and 1976. What is Innsbruck? Uh, in the dictionary, uh, I guess it's for 400. It is. Okay. Entry with three definitions. A German statesman, a city in North Dakota, and a jelly donut. What is Bismarck? That's right. Uh, let's have uh, inventors for 400. Thomas Edison's longest lasting light bulb filament was made from this giant grass. What is bamboo? Uh, let's have inventors for 800. The answer is... In 1842, Dr. Crawford Long was the first to use this as an anesthetic device. What is chloroform? No. Liz. Ether, the other one. I had a choice and I picked the wrong one. Okay, Liz, it's your turn. Where are we going? Starts with me for 200. I should do well on these clues right here. I'm pretty good at them. Seen in August, the Perseids are this type of shower. Uh, what is Meteor? Insect named for a white, sticky, cornmeal like powder found on its body. What is a mealybug? Now, the last clue. The answer is Siena College basketball games were once closed due to, the, to the public due to this disease. What are the measles? Now put me at sixty-six hundred dollars. Ralph is in second place with forty-three hundred, and Liz seventeen hundred. So it is not a runaway game. Anything can happen. Category is insects. Eaters can't digest wood by themselves. Organisms in their intestines do it. I'll say what are termites. If I'm right, I win. If I'm wrong, I lose. Find out if I end up with ten thousand dollars or if I lose. Hopefully, I win. Is it the termites? Thank God the run continues, so I win ten thousand dollars this game, which isn't bad. And that's a twenty game winning total of one million sixty thousand eight seventeen.
Rob ties me for the lead for now. 